IFL technology uses a Kevlar reinforced thermoplastic liner to insert a tight fit lining into an existing subsea pipeline system. The operation begins on shore, where a liner is first folded to reduce its cross sectional area and to assist in the installation process. The folded liner is then held in position with a covering of tape. The liner is then reeled onto an installation drum and a towing head is attached to the liner. All equipment, materials and personnel are then mobilized for offshore operations. Once offshore, all equipment and materials are then positioned onto their allocated platform locations and tied down. The first offshore operation requires the removal of the service medium and pipeline cleaning. During this process, the pipeline is also gauged to identify any potential hazards which may affect the liner pulling exercise. Upon completion of the gauging process, the riser modification works can begin. This involves cutting off a section of riser below the flange. A shorter section of pipe incorporating a venting unit is then re-welded back onto the riser to accommodate the installation of the end connector units. In parallel to the riser modification work, guidance frameworks on both platforms are set up to define the cable and liner pulling paths. Upon completion of the modification works, a dewatering process is then implemented in order to clear and dry the pipeline. At the end of the dewatering process, a messenger cable is attached to a soft foam pig, which is then blown through the host pipe system. The function of this messenger line is then to pull the main winching cable back to the vessel for connection with the liner towing head. With the cable entry protection unit installed, the main winching cable is then pulled through the pipeline to the liner insertion point. The liner protection roller unit and lubrication unit are then positioned above the insertion point and the main winch cable is then pulled over to the installation drum and connected onto the towing head. Following a final check on all the equipment systems and settings, a notification is sent to the main winch operator to initiate the pulling process. The folded liner is then pulled through the host pipe with the pulling force being continuously monitored to ensure that no undue stresses are applied to the liner. The banding tapes are then broken by inflating the liner which forms a tight fit against the internal surface of the pipe. The end termination connectors are then located into position and the connector sleeves fully sealed onto the liner. To establish and fully verify that the liner has been successfully installed, the pipe system is then hydro tested at a pre-approved pressure for a period of 24 hours.
this pressure is normally set at 1.5 times the current operating pressure of the pipeline. Upon completion of the hydro test, all the topside piping is then reattached and the service medium recommissioned back into the pipeline system. Once the liner installation has been fully completed and successfully tested, all equipment and personnel are then demobilized. <laughs>